Yo, what's going on everybody? It is time for another puzzle. And today's puzzle, we have uh, Brittany, AKA Addison Minx is what she goes by for the name when she does photo shoots. Um, I met Brittany just the same way as I met most of the people I shoot with um, through actual photo shoots. So uh, she's a super creative person and I reached out to her at some point, I believe, or she may have reached out to me, I can't remember. Um, and we lined up a shoot and before long we'd done three or four shoots, five shoots total. Um, but this one, this one is from a series I started called the uh, Boxed series. And I actually had a friend construct a wooden box uh, that was the same aspect ratio of a photograph. And then I had uh, special instructions on how I wanted it created. I wanted little holes, little inserts that could be removed um, so that the uh, models could like hang from it and uh, do all sorts of different poses um, and get really creative with it. And then uh, in editing them, um, sometimes I would do is I would take nine different poses and final edits from a shoot. And then I would take them and put them into a single photo. So what you'll see here is there's actually nine different pictures to make one picture. So this one's going to be kind of interesting to complete because um, it's almost like doing nine little miniature puzzles within one large puzzle. So it's probably going to be a little bit challenging um, to complete this one, but I guess we'll find out. So if you're new to my channel and this is the first one of my puzzle videos that you're seeing, um, I do have more of them. So go to my channel and check it out. And uh, my background a little bit is uh, I'm a photographer on the side outside of YouTube and outside of my regular job and, and so forth. And what I did is I took 10 of my photos and I turned them into puzzles. And this is one of those puzzles. So uh, go check it out. If you like this one, go check out some of the other ones. Um, and I think really that's about it. So let's jump straight into this uh, and uh, start getting this puzzle assembled.
Yeah.
All right, we're down to the last five pieces. I think one, two, three, four, five. Yeah, last five pieces here. Um, I don't know for sure yet because I haven't checked the footage, but if you noticed, uh, I had a little bit of help on this puzzle. My roommate was helping me out with this one. And there was one point where he uh, was assembling it. And he, uh, when he stood up, he accidentally hit his head on the uh, camera up here that's doing the top down shots. And I thought I had fixed it. And then come to find out a little while later, I noticed it was kind of like, instead of being straight down, it was kind of outward a little bit. Um, and again, I haven't looked at any of these uh, videos yet. So if it cut off part of it at some point, that's what happened. But I'm hoping that it didn't mess up. Uh, yeah. So if you're sticking around to this part of the video, I appreciate it. Um, and I appreciate that you're watching this video at all. Uh, just after I finish this up, there'll be a screen at the end to let you choose the next puzzle. And uh, a couple of things I'm gonna say about this one after I get these last pieces in. So, I kind of figured this one would be challenging because like as I mentioned, it's pretty much like, let's see, let's show you from the top down so this makes a little more sense. All right, here we go. It's like nine kind of individual puzzles if you want to look at it that way, right? Uh, so it was a little more difficult with that in mind. And um, the strategy was pretty basic, finish the border. And then I was like, what's the easiest thing to identify? So I started going with the black part of her clothing. Uh, and then from there, her face. And then somewhere along the line, I think when my roommate, when I was first doing it, he started putting together a lot of the uh, circles. Um, so that made things a little easier too. But then when it got down to these, all these lines uh, that were everywhere on all the boxes, you would think that's easy, but the shadows and everything are identical across. So it was actually kind of challenging to figure that part out. So one thing I'm gonna mention, I'm a little disappointed with Shutterfly on this. I made sure that when I ordered this puzzle, uh, that I kept everything within their bleed lines so that nothing would get cut off. Uh, and I wanted this to be perfect just the way it was when I edited it. And if you see here at the bottom, cut off her shoulder, edge of her foot, the edge of her arm and her full hand. And then this whole side, there's supposed to be, uh, you see all these, let's see. It's gonna be kind of glared. But you can see all the holes down the side, just like you have the holes over there. There should be holes down this whole side. So it cut off half her hand. So when I was first doing this, it kind of threw me off a little bit because uh, I kept looking for holes over here. And then I was like, wait, they would have been on the border pieces. They shouldn't even be some of these other ones in the middle. So yeah, Shutterfly, I'm kind of disappointed with you guys on that, but no big deal. It's just a puzzle. Um, but yeah, it was fun. So. I'm not sure if I'll print one like this again. Uh, maybe I will, maybe I won't. And uh, like I said uh, in one of the other videos, uh, go check out my website. It's mmpstudios.com. And let me know, should I pull more photos from there? Cause I'm gonna do another set of 10 of these. Um, or go check out my personal uh, Instagram. Um, and I'll throw that up now. But that's just uh, Instagram slash Melvin Maya. Uh, and let me know if I should put some of that stuff up. Uh, I'm sorry, put some of that stuff up. Do puzzles out of some of those photos. So travel and day-to-day uh, -day shots, city shots, things like that, or more model type stuff. You guys tell me. I think regardless, I'm probably gonna do another set of each. I'm gonna do another set of these. Um, and I definitely wanna do the others, but I wanna know what you guys think. Uh, that's about it. So let's go ahead and wrap this video up. Thank you guys for watching. Um, check out my social media. It's all listed below. Uh, if you want to know what camera equipment and stuff I'm using, also listed below. It really helps me out if you guys use those Amazon links in the description. Um, it gives me a small little commission, uh, which helps me to continue to produce these videos. Um, I do this mostly as a hobby right now, but uh, if you've seen some of my other videos, my goal is to travel full time and YouTube's a big part of that. So I really could use y'all's help. So subscribe if you haven't already. Um, give it a like, thumbs up, uh, comment, 
and don't forget that little bell to uh, make sure you get the notifications. Um, but yeah, I appreciate you guys and y'all have a good one. Later.